I'm Deb Davis. I'm an educator with the Mississippi Museum of Natural Science. I'm also a member of the Mississippi Bat Working Group. I really enjoy helping people learn more about bats. Bats are really exciting, interesting creatures. They have lots and lots of adaptations. Remember, an adaptation is a change that helps an animal survive. Adaptations can be physical or behavioral. Behavioral adaptations are changes to the bat's behavior, or the way bats do things. A prime example of a bat's behavioral adaptation is their nocturnal behavior. Remember, nocturnal means active at night. Being active at night helps them to avoid daytime predators. They also may face less competition for food. Adaptations can also be physical, meaning they are changes to the animal's body that help the animal to survive better. Bats have many, many physical adaptations. Bats that are insectivorous, like all of our bats here in Mississippi, use something called echolocation to find their prey. Echolocation is like sonar. Bats have well-adapted, specialized facial features to help them with echolocation. Their forward-facing ears help them hear noises in front of them. We'll talk more about echolocation in another video clip. Bats have lots of adaptations that help them be better flyers. Their bones are very light, helping them keep their body weight down so that they can fly more easily. Bats' hands have adapted to become wings so that they can fly. There is a membrane, kind of like webbing, that extends across each elongated hand and finger bone down to the foot and often down their tailbone, creating a wing. This membrane can also help keep them warm since they wrap it around their bodies when they rest. The membrane can also help them catch and carry their prey. Our bats in Mississippi may all be insectivores, but they're certainly not all the same. Different bats have adapted to different habitats. They've also adapted to be able to exploit different food sources. Some bats, like the big brown bat, have really strong jaw bones that help them bite through hard beetles. Tri-colored bats have small teeth that help them eat tiny insects like mosquitoes. Another neat physical adaptation is the sharp curved claw that bats have on their thumb. Bats have a thumb with a sharp curved claw, so even though their hands have become wings, they can still climb something, like a tree, by using their feet and the claw on their thumb. Bats have adapted to be able to rest head down. Can we do that? Not really. Think about hanging upside down on the monkey bars. Can you stay there very long? Probably not, because after a while, the blood rushes to your head and surely you get a headache. Bats, though, can hang upside down as long as they want because they have specially designed valves in their blood vessels that push the blood back to the rest of their body. Why would a bat want to hang upside down? It helps them hide better. They need to be able to hide from predators so they can get some rest. They'll roost upside down in places like trees, caves, old buildings, and road culverts and bridges. Hanging upside down in a high spot also allows them to take off and fly away quickly. Bats can also hang upside down for a long time because their tendons rest in a closed position. This means that when they are at rest, they can continue to hold on to things. So it takes them effort to let go of something. Our hands work the other way. So it takes us effort to hold on to something and we let go when we're not trying to hold it anymore, right? So if you fall asleep holding something, like say a book, when you wake up, you're not usually holding it anymore, right? Well, bats are the other way around. It takes them effort to let go of things. So when they're at rest, they can easily hold on to a tree or wherever their roost site is. So they can hang upside down and rest without really exerting a lot of effort trying to hold on and stay where they are. Those are just a few of the many ways that bats are well adapted to the habitats they live in. 
Remember, an adaptation is a change that helps an animal survive. It can be behavioral, meaning a change to something that the animal does, or it can be physical, meaning a change to the animal's body. Bats are very well adapted to many different Mississippi habitats and food sources. 